It's day two of the Buccaneers mini camp, and we talked to Deshaun Jackson and Levante David. For Jackson, what did he really say about Jameis Winston um, impressions on him? Well, I mean, they've spent more time together this year. I mean, he didn't say how many days, but I, I think he's had more uh, reps with him in the OTAs. I mean, this is a guy that's a weapon down the field. They didn't hook up very much. You know, people have talked about how much Jameis's deep ball has improved, and I think we've seen it out here with Deshaun. And Deshaun's a prideful guy. He's going into his 11th season. This was a bad year for him. He was third on a team in catches, and, you know, they didn't get what they needed from him. So a lot of that is on him. Um, but I think that they've worked a little bit in this offseason. We'll see what happens when they actually get on the field. But they got a lot of competition at the wide receiver spot. And you know, last year he nailed during the national anthem. What did he say about that today? Well, it was interesting. I mean, you know, there's been a lot of talk about that. And um, I think Deshaun's one of these people that, that believes in, in, you know, First Amendment rights. He talked about that. And he talked about, you know, in the past about the social injustice. But as a team, they really haven't discussed it. I mean, we're so early in the offseason that I think – um, there will be a talk. I think the Bucks last year decided that they would all do something as a team, you know, whether it was Stan, Neil, whatever, and they did stand for the national anthem. But there's a lot about this policy we don't know yet. You know, what is being disrespectful? Is joining arms being disrespectful? So we'll see. But I think Deshaun Jackson, being a leader uh, on this team and in this league for 11 years, will will probably you know be a big voice in that locker room. He also mentioned about his body and how he's healing. What did he say? Well, I mean, he, he's a guy that always has worked hard in the offseason. He does some, some stuff that's not like most football players. He goes out to Cal and works with his track coach. The speed has been his number one asset. I mean, you know, at 31 years old, he can still take the top off of a defense. And they, they clocked him, I think, last year at one point at 22 miles an hour, you know, when he was running with the ball. So um, Deshaun's going to take care of his body. He says he feels good. And we'll see uh, if that speed stays with him. And for Levante, he talked about this competitiveness on the field and trash t trash talking. Yeah. What? Well, it's it, they're having fun, and, and I think that was the the thing he said probably the most. Right? He kept repeating how much fun it is um, practicing, and and the best teams uh, are just like that. I mean, this as much as this is a job, and they, they sweat through the entire off season and training camp. Um, football's a game, and I think the best teams. Uh, do go at it and uh, you know the, the old term the cliche steel sharp and steel but that's really true I think you have to establish that in practice and I think it carries over and you know if you're good on defense you make the offense better and vice versa so you can see out there there's, there's a lot of talking it starts with Quan Alexander and those guys but um, they are having fun and that's usually a good sign it means it's competitive he brought up last season um, and how we're going moving forward this season. What is he looking forward to? Well, I mean, I just think that, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that hadn't made the playoffs in his entire career. I mean, he's a Pro Bowl player. Him and Gerald McCoy have been here a long time. But every year is a new year, and I think he's impressing upon guys just to take care of their jobs. You know, it's a process. When we're sitting here in June, uh, there'll be something else that happens with training camp in July in the preseason. And I think the accountability is a word you hear a lot. So Deshaun or I'm sorry, uh, Levante is always optimistic, but it's time for him and guys like McCoy to finally get into the postseason. They hope this is their year. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I think I think that's about it. I just think that, uh, uh, you know, we're seeing now as we get to these last few days, the competition coming out out here. We saw some interceptions, some great plays by Chris Godwin. Greg Allman's going to have a story on him, so make sure you check with TampaBay.com to read that. Well, thank you so much, Nick Stroud. I really appreciate it. I'm Alana Bearfield reporting for the Tampa Bay Times.